every now and then, us hermits have a super amazing idea we want to put in an episode, and then we completely forget to actually put that super amazing idea in the episode. I learned this the hard way in the comments of my previous episode, where hundreds of you guys reminded me that I didn't actually check the gift that Mumbo gave me, even though I was 100% going to do it in the episode. Let's fix that right now, shall we? Right, what have we got here? Enjoy your box from Mumbo with some super fancy map art. Oh my goodness, that face looks absolutely beautiful. Congratulations, you've been randomly selected for Impulse's good deed of the day. Your prize for winning is this woe smashing mystery barge box. You are encouraged to pay it forward using your own gifts and hermit selection process. Enjoy. Gotta love starting off the week with a gift from a fellow hermit. Am I right, guys? Right, let's see what's in this gift box. Oh my goodness, this thing is jam-packed with amazingness. Jeez, wait a minute. I is this the head of Rain the Kid? Oh yes, that's my head from my very first death in Season 7 at the hands of Doc Holiday. Man, that is the best gift ever. I never thought I'd get my hands on the head of Ren the Kid ever again. Dang, thank you so much, Mumbo. Now, this is so awesome. Now we just need to figure out who gets this gift box next. What a great day to be a hermit, my dudes. Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the Interverbs. This is Ren Diggity Dog coming at you in another Minecraft episode from the Hermitcraft server. We're kicking things off today, my friends, from just outside the giant jaws of Decked Out, the collectible trading minigame designed by Tango that is literally taking the server by storm. Being a massive fan of collectibles and trading card games like Magic the Gathering myself, I simply cannot resist getting involved in some Decked Out action, my dudes. And luckily for us, I managed to find a Decked Out box under Scar's shop yesterday, which means we'll be able to go on at least two runs of Decked Out today. Oh baby! Now, I'm not going to explain how this amazing game works because that would literally take an entire episode. The good news is though, Tango has made an amazing how to play Decked Out video that literally explains the entire thing. So, if you've not watched it already, pause this video, go get clued up on Decked Out and then rejoin us here for our very first couple of dungeon runs. Right, first things first, we need to sign up for the game and claim for ourselves an artifact board which will give us a free decked out box and dungeon key so that we can start our collection down here. I think we'll take the artifact board right next to Etho who seems to be doing insanely well at this game so far. My goodness, we got a lot of catching up to do, don't we guys? Anywho, let's claim this board with our beautiful head, collect our free decked out box and we're pretty much good to go for our first ever run. Nice, we've now got two dungeon keys keys, seven gems, but I'm thinking we should be smart here for our first run and not risk anything until we're a bit more familiar with how the game actually works. Yeah, that's probably the right thing to do for a noob like me. <laughs> anyway, we can't take any gear into the dungeon, so let's drop everything off except one key and let's do this thing, my dudes. Man, I'm so excited. I've been looking forward to this all week, I gotta tell ya. Oh, uh, hold on. Mr. Ravager up there has just reminded me. Uh, well, we can't enter the dungeon just yet. The rules clearly state that we must play this game completely naked. So, time for a quick wardrobe change before we charge headfirst into the dungeon. <laughs> And there we go, naked as the day we were born and ready to take on the dungeon for the very first time. Jeez guys, I'm kind of nervous. I have no idea what to expect here. And as I said, not going to be risking any of our dungeon coins on this very first run. Let's just get a feel for what the dungeon is like and let's get going. There's the compass that we need. Hello guardians, what is happening? And that is our dungeon ready to go. Um. Not entirely sure where to go next. Oh yes, we need to reset our spawn over here just in case we die. We've already dropped off all of our items, so we're ready to rock and roll, I think. Please remove pants before dying. Yes, pants have been removed. And I think we're ready to rock and roll, although I'm a little bit confused. Where do we go next? Hang on. Hmm, I'm thinking we probably have to submit a deck box to get the game started. I mean, this is my first time around, so I am derping a little bit here. But let's try this again. We'll put the shulker in there, hit the button to activate the dungeon. Something happened. And hopefully, we can get ourselves through this dungeon now. Let's have a look. Yes! Okay, it opened! We're in! We're in! Now, guys, the most important thing about this, of course, is to try and not make noise 
We want to keep our clank count as low as possible. And, well, let's follow our compass around. We're going to keep holding shift as much as possible. And there are going to be ravages around here very, very soon. That looks very scary. I don't think we're going to try to go over there. Maybe we come around the corner. Well, there's nothing here, although the compass is pointing still in this direction. And I think we're going to try and move until the compass goes a little bit crazy. That doesn't look like it. Although, let's give it a go. If we throw the compass there. Nope. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to try and cross this very horrible bridge over here. Oh my goodness. How are we going to do this now? Okay, here we go. We're going to try and do a running jump. And we got onto the vine. Oh no, no, we lost it. We lost it right away. Oh, jeez. That's very painful. All right, so first run was a complete and utter failure, friends. Although, we do get to press the button and I think get ourselves a couple of books, maybe? Let's have a look. Yes, we get to choose one of these books to maybe help us with the next run. Beast Sense or Stealth One or Loot Finder. You know what? I'm going to take the Loot Finder, I think, to help us out a little bit with finding some more keys. All right, the dungeon is reset. We've got one more go at this, guys, and I'm thinking maybe we do need to actually spend some keys here. And then the pearl will help us get over that lava in the very beginning, so that's probably worth a purchase. And, well, this is our last key, I think, for today. I haven't found any more in the shopping district, so hopefully we'll have some better luck this time. We're also going to be sticking a loot finder into the system, and there is our compass. So hopefully that should help us get a few more coins that we just spent on the uh, the end of Perlage. Let's get it loaded up, and I think we're ready to go again. This time the compass is pointing that a direction, so here we go. Let's see if we can actually get past this very first, very difficult jump over here. And of course, we've got to try keep our crank as low as possible. This is probably going to take us in a different direction. Ooh, yes. Okay, so we don't have to do the lava jump for this one. Although I have no idea what the dungeon looks like. I was hoping to get a little bit of a layout of the land in our first run. But yeah, died right away. That is how an MC champ does it, friends. There is a loot box over here, though. Nothing in there, unfortunately. And I don't know if we have to go around those ravages. I feel like... Oh, there's a soul flame over here. That's really good news. I think if we hit the soul flame, we can actually get stuff. Um, hello, did we get anything from that soul flame? Nope, nothing, nothing came out of there, so that's not good. Uh, we do have this ender pearl, though, so we might be able to hop over those ravages if we do, in fact, have to go around them. But, man, so far, it's kind of feeling like we're going to have to risk our lives here to get some, some of the juicy, juicy loot. And is that a ravager? No, that's a chair. Oh, my goodness, guys. My heart rate is literally through the roof at the moment. Oh, wait a minute. There's a loot box. Well, these could be loot boxes. No, this is a loot box. Yes. Nice, we got a decked out coin out of that one. It looks like we've come down into like a dungeon. Oh, RIP ZF. And this is looking pretty good. RIP Impulse, oh goodness. We might have been able to traverse around the ravages here. No, but there's another soul flame though. So that's good. We've got one coin out of this so far. So that's probably not gonna help us. And that ravager's after us. Oh geez, okay, the ravager has been alerted. And I don't know if we're going to be able to scoot around him. Let's see. Can we get him down here, maybe? Hey, bro. Come on. Come on this way. Maybe we could distract him a little bit. Yep. Okay. Okay. We can maybe get around him. Yes. Okay. First Ravager has been dodged. Amazing. That's good news. Uh, although that one is still looking a little bit scary. We need to maybe get through this room. I think this is the room that we need to get through. We're going to have to do the same with this guy. Oh, my goodness. He is looking very, very mean. No, 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 he got us, dang it. The beast got us. Oh my goodness, this is really difficult, dudes. Well, we certainly met our demise there, my friends. Oh my goodness, I feel like we almost got around the beast, but unfortunately, things went a little bit wrong for us there. We are gonna get another book for our trouble, though, I think. Yeah, we are, a loot finder book. Okay, so we get to keep the loot finder book, but doesn't look like we're gonna get any others out of that particular run. Oh my goodness. Well, that was super fun. I, I really want to do that again, to be honest. I, I feel like next time around, we might have better luck. So I suppose it's back to trying to find a key in the shopping district to see if we can do one third run or we can wait for the key ticket to run out. Although there's still probably a couple of hours to go. Looks like Azuma's chilling over there in the AFK throwing too. So yeah, 
Let's see if we can go find another key somewhere in the shopping district. Well, after about 20 minutes of looking around the shopping district, I just spotted another key box, guys. Yes, we're going to be able to play one more time. It's actually not rendering from this position, but there it is, all the way on top of Iskal's little hat thing that sits above his redstone shop. Amazing. Wait, that's... That's a, that's a, that's a big troll. Dag it, Etho! You know what, my dudes? I think it's time for a bit of revenge before our next dungeon run. Etho got me really good with that fake decked out box, but it also gave me a dastardly idea to get him back. You see, I've been trying to figure out which hermit to give the pass it on box to, and I reckon we should give it to Etho. But with a twist, here's the thing. We know Etho is playing a lot of decked out, right? So what I've done is I've changed the color of the pass it on box to black to make it look like a decked out box. And my plan here is to make Etho think that I've given him two decked out boxes as a gift when he first sees these shulker boxes. But actually, what he's going to get is the pass it on box. Now, I will admit this may not seem like much of a prank, but trust me, my dudes, these black decked out boxes are literally the most valuable things on the server right now. And we're going to get Etho real good with this little trick. When he sees these boxes, he's going to lose his mind and then he's going to be really disappointed. Right, I'm definitely going to hang on to the header Ren the Kid, though. That is amazing. And I think I'll take the bacon, too, as I do need loads of them for our Star Wars base. But worry not, I'm going to add some very tasty loot to the box, including some extremely expensive items from Bigger Logs Incorporated. Namely, a stack of both warp logs and shroom lights, alongside a stack of emerald blocks, a bunch of shulker shells, that amazing map art of Mumbo's beautiful face, which has got to be worth a ton of diamonds let's be honest my dudes and for the cherry on top a decked out gem which is probably the most valuable item in this entire box right now to be fair now the top not decked out box is going to look like it has gems in it but etho will be sadly disappointed to discover they're just emeralds alongside the passed on book instead of a dungeon key and the trap is set. <laughs> Get sneaky sneaked, Etho. Oh, and enjoy the pass it on gift too. <laughs> 20 more minutes of searching later, my dudes. And I've not been able to find another decked out box in the shopping district. Which means we're going to have to resort to sitting in the AFK throne. Luckily... We're one lamp away from getting another key and a compass, so hopefully if we just plonk our butts in here for the next hour or so, we should be able to get one more run at Decked Out today. I mean, we gotta at least get an artifact in this episode, am I right, guys? Jeez, so much derpage. Get out of here, beef. I got dibs on the next key, my dude. Oh, you got a key from before? Yeah, go for it, my dude. Good luck. And approximately one and a half hours later of AFKing, the button has been revealed! Yes! We get another go at deck down today. This is amazing. Let's hit the button and hopefully we should get a key and we should get a compass. Well, there's the key. No compass though. I guess we get the compass when we run the dungeon though, don't we? Oh man, this is awesome. All right, third time's a charm, my dudes. Let's get ourselves some artifacts, shall we? Also just realized I had note blocks muted in the last couple of runs, so that might have played a part in our double demise, but here we go, my friends. One more run to go. We have no keys available to buy anything, and it's just gonna be our naked self versus the Ravagers. And there is the compass. Oh, I forgot our decked out box. Hold on one second. Yeah, clearly still a decked out noob over here, guys. But I am slowly but surely getting used to this game. And we should hopefully have a decent run here. We got Loot Finder 1 initiated. Hello, Guardians. Let's go, my friends. Looks like we're going to be going to the right hand side here, which is actually pretty good. And I've been thinking about this entire game for the last couple of hours while sitting on the AFK throne. And I think sort of, um, I guess speed is maybe what we want to do. We don't want to move too slowly through this dungeon. And yeah, now that we've got the note blocks on, we can certainly hear some things happening that we didn't hear in the first couple of rounds. And hopefully that's going to help us out. Now, the compass is pointing in this direction. Uh, Vintage Beef has been through here a couple of times now too. So I don't know where the Ravagers are at. The last time we got wrecked, there was a Ravager in there. He is still in there, unfortunately. Oh, the clankage is getting real here, guys. Everything just lifted up. And that's probably because I've been sprinting around. And that was really stupid, actually. I 
I've been so excited to get back into the into the dungeon. I've been waiting for so long. And obviously, I've completely messed it up. I don't know, dudes. It's not feeling good right now. It's not feeling very positive about this run. And this is a place we've not been to yet. There's the Ravager, though. All right, let's just sprint our way through here. Hopefully, we can get away from that guy. Yes, looks like we're okay. And, well, it looks like we're on track toward this compass here, guys. This is feeling pretty good. The Ravager is still chasing, though. That's not good. We're going to have to do a little bit more sprinting. And hopefully, it's in here somewhere. Is he still tracking us? Hopefully not. Hopefully, he's lost the scent. And, well, there's a lot of noises going on. There is zombification up in this business, too. That can't be good. Okay, we're going to zoom around the zombie. Yep, that's fine. Zombies, no problem. Ravagers, on the other hand, big, big problem. And, well, look at this. Are we, are we getting close? It feels like we're getting close. The compass is kind of pointing in this direction here. Let's stop sprinting, though. We're starting to eat through our hunger quite quickly. And, oh, no, we've come full circle, haven't we? We're back in the throne room. And that clank is sounding very, very loud right now, guys. Oh, no. This can't be good. Hold on. This compass is pointing here. Is this it? Is this it over here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. We're stuck in some cobwebbage. That's not good. It's kind of pointing right in here, isn't it? The clank is going crazy. There is another Ravager there. And that's not good. He hit us through the fence That cannot be a good thing over there, guys. Oh, my goodness. That Ravager is very, very angry, guys. I think we might be getting wrecked here in our third and final run for the day. That is extremely unfortunate. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the artifact box is somewhere in that direction. But the lights are starting to turn off. The mob spawning has begun. And we just got wrecked by a vet. Well, apparently, my friends, I am absolutely terrible at decked out. Which is a little bit sad. I was hoping to do a bit better today. But unfortunately, it looks like we are going to have to maybe try and make a better deck for ourselves. Maybe stealth is going to help us in the next run. But unfortunately, dudes... I don't have any more keys left and, well, I haven't managed to find any more in the shopping district. So our next decked out run is going to have to wait for the next episode. And hopefully next time around, we can actually get some artifacts. And I got to say, our artifact board is looking... It's looking kind of sad, isn't it? And, I mean, I probably don't deserve to wear this crown today, actually. I should probably take the crown off and put it back into the cupboard. But got to say, decked out, what an incredible game. I got, I mean, one of my favorite games ever on the Hermitcraft server ever created in any season that I've been a part of. And I simply cannot wait to get back into this game. Although, yeah, we're going to have to wait for some more keys. But that was awesome. Amazing job, Tango. Remember how I mentioned at the start of the video that sometimes us hermits plan super amazing things for episodes and then don't end up actually doing those super amazing things? Well, that's kind of what happened again in today's episode, my dudes. You see, my original plan was to do a bunch of work on adding super awesome lava features to our custom-made Mustafar biome over here, inspired by a ton of ideas that you guys have been giving me in the comments of my previous episodes. And as you can see, I made some pretty decent progress on this already this week by building a couple of massive lava pools, smoldering gaseous mineral geysers, and extremely awesome looking waterfalls of lava flowing down the cliffs of the Emperor's Talon. However, just as I was getting into the flow, so to speak, of this terraforming project, I may or may not have got a bit, uh, distracted. And for good reason, let me tell you. As we did pretty terribly in our first ever run of Decked Out, an opportunity suddenly presented itself this week that is, is gonna give us an incredible chance of actually winning something for once on the Hermitcraft server. Namely, the giant pile of loot currently still available over at Iskel's one million leaf collecting hedge game Bernie machine thingamajingy. You see, while I was grinding away, my good friend Grian arrived and literally started throwing leaf blocks at me for some unknown reason. Naturally, I was intrigued and so I followed the trail of leaves to Grian's mansion only to discover a very leafy surprise that he'd been working on all week himself. Check it out. Hello. Check it out. This is a little bit insane. What, what, what are you doing? <laughs> so, I said I wasn't going to join the hedge games, but then I just did i just spent hours and hours causing climate change on hermitcraft <laughs> oh oh like uh, oh bernie like the bernie competition 
exactly. But I I never really signed up, so like I need an in, and right. I was wondering. If you wanted to go halvesies, maybe we could steal the win. I have no idea how many are done. I don't really know how the game works. I just know you need leaves and a lot of yeah. them. Yeah. I mean, I've put in quite a lot, but this is way more than I put in. Like, way more. Um, oh, for real? Yeah. So, I mean, we could go halves. I mean, I was hoping to get the prize for myself. I've actually been collecting some leaves too, so... I mean, I can I can go and ask... Uh, I can go and ask some other... Oh, no, okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. I think the competition's pretty close. Well, I mean, people have been collecting, so teaming up does sound like a plan, actually. If you come this way... Oh. I might be able to, uh... <laughs> Using oh. my own trick against oh, no. <laughs> I've fallen into the base. <laughs> Using my own trick against me. <laughs> so, I've also been collecting leaves because I've had my eyeballs on that competition. Um, I actually won like two jackpots out of it when I deposited. So, I've also been very sneakily piling up. Um, <laughs> we got some... a pile as well. <laughs> I've been sneakily piling up some leaves too. <laughs> Yo. So... Yeah. Dude, okay, I, I mean, I, I don't want to brag, but my pile is a little bigger than yours. Your pile is bigger than mine, <laughs> which is... It's kind of sad. But with our <laughs> piles combined... This has got to be a win, right? That, I, I don't know how much other people have been gathering leaves, but mine took, like, two days flat of leaf gathering, and I'm not doing any more. So if you want to go halvesies, I'm going to go and submit my boxes. All right. All right, I'm in. Let's do it. Sweet, because I couldn't submit them without you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ren, you're actually going to have to show. I don't actually know what to do. I've right. just got the boxes. Okay, well, it's pretty easy. Uh, we'll use my box, okay? And all yeah. we got to do is put in one shulker box at a time, and Bernie's teeth will light up. When all the lamps are lit, the game's over. That's enough leaves collected. And apparently we get some jackpots and stuff out of this too, so... Dude, there's yeah. only two... There's two lights. Yeah, there's, there's only, only two. two lights. Yeah. Okay, so literally just one at a time. One at a time. Ding. You put the shulker boxes in, I'll just slowly feed your inventory with new ones. <laughs> okay? We can teamwork this. <laughs> Pass the parcel. Oh, Something's oh. happening. Oh, oh, oh. Yes! Yo! Prizes! What awesome. did we get? We, have, we, haven't even, we haven't even scratched the surface. Yeah, that's one tooth litter. The jackpot the lie. Ugh. Oh. Dude. Dude, we got shortchanged and we got... Jackpot GG, gravel and gold. That's not bad. Oh, I get, I get it. GG, gravel and gold. That's not Very bad. Very smart, Iskal. Oh, oh, oh. Something's happening. Woo! Yes. More goodies. Nice. What did we get? Okay, okay, okay. We got jackpot the nether. Right. Pretty sweet. Ooh. And we got jackpot speed miner. Oh, oh my goodness gracious me. My goodness. That now is a that's... good one. That's a good one. We are done. Wow, oh. we lit up two lamps. Yeah. I went and I made a cup of tea during is. all of that. That took ages. <laughs> took absolutely ages. By the way, G, I didn't tell you before we did this, but this is what we're playing for, this pile of amazing loot, right? Yeah, well, I guess I guess yeah. that. That's kind of why but I got involved. This is this is the really good one. Here. Bank imprint. Bark, oh, bark imprint. imprint. <laughs> but <laughs> did not read that correctly. Yeah. Bark imprint. If we win, face. we get to imprint our face into Iskel's tree, which is why I really want to win. Bro. Yeah. Now that is a pro. I didn't even know about this. Let's go Harvey's on the jackpot. Harvey's, Harvey's. Let's go Harvey's. Yeah, there we go. And I'll have the cake. Sweet. You, you have the cake. Sweet. All right. Done. Done deal. I don't know. When do we find out if we win? I have no idea, but if we don't win, G, I'm going to be sad. Now, even though much of this week has been dedicated to collecting a metric but tonnage of leaves for Bernie, I've also dedicated a few live streams and many hours off camera to slowly transforming the Emperor's Talon into a smoldering, lava-filled landscape that is really starting to come together. I mean, just look at our map. This new Mustafar biome, it's taken shape rather nicely, I must say. I was going to do a bit more work over here in the Valley of Tati Ren today. However, I've just spotted a sign that arrived overnight and it looks like we've been summoned to the very first meeting of the Mycelium Resistance that we joined in the last episode, of course. It looks like the Resistance is about to start, uh, resisting? 
Although I have no idea what we are resisting exactly. I guess we'll find out in the meeting. Let's head on over to the barge and join our fellow Myceliumites, shall we? Well, looks like we're the first to get to the Resistance HQ, my dudes. Although, I gotta say, ever since joining the Resistance, I've been feeling rather woozy. Not entirely sure what's going on, but man, I've constantly got the taste of mushrooms in my mouth and my head is extremely itchy most of the time these days. It's very weird, man. Eddie Hoozle, it's meeting time. Welcome, everyone, to the official... Mycelium resistance. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you were interrupted by, by some note blocks. I think uh, this is right on top of Decked Out, right? It's right it's on top of Super like, secret location. Yeah, no super secret. Very secret. <laughs> Literally one block down and you've got Decked Out is right there. Don't fall in. Don't so, fall in. I mean, that, that brings me basically to why I'm having this meeting. You guys have all signed up. I'm getting really interrupted by Decked Out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, lot of, a lot of stealth going on right now. <laughs> so you guys have all signed up, including XB, who is... He's with us. Hello, mm -hmm. XB. Hello, XB. Hello, XB. He's, Hello. He's, he's, he, yeah, he's having a great time. So yeah. Viva the resistance! The reason I kind of called this here Sorry. is partly because of the whole decked out thing, but this mycelium base isn't fit for purpose. Well, one, you can hear decked out all the time, and two... Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not secret at all. Everyone knows the way in. This was mm -mm. like a recruitment thing. So since we're all like a, a gang now and we all know why we're here and what we're doing, then I think what we should do is take another location and make it our base and never show the entrance on camera. That way okay. smart. we can have yes. a proper... I mean, it's getting kind of funky down here too. I, I'd prefer if we moved out, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, it's... it's it was never, yeah. never going to be a permanent location, but it means that the mayor and his, particularly his enforcer, can't, can't find us because they, they, mm -hmm. they think we're here. They know, they know. Everyone's seen my videos. They know where the entrance Everybody is. Knows. We're a little close to town hall right now. We yeah, are I literally got caught leaving one day by Cub fan. So I'm pretty sure Cub watched away. me walk in here earlier. So like, <laughs> it's ultra compromised. <laughs> decked out. Going. Cub's actually just below us playing decked out. <laughs> oh, I can see them. They're they're very pious. So we need to we need to find a new location for the mycelium resistance so that we can resist. Sounds good. Uh, what are we resisting exactly? Yeah, I, I was wondering that too, to be honest. Uh, you know, you guys, you know why we're here. We're oh, well, not really. Uh, of course, yes. We're here. We're here. Just... Oh, yo, come got killed by the beast. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> So we you, we are here to send yeah. Scar a message. Oh, right. okay. Message. Yes. Uh, yes. To send Scar a message. Send yeah. Scar a message. Yeah. That's mycelia resistance. Ooh, what, uh, what message is it exactly? What, yeah. What is the, what's the, what is the message uh, actually? It, Green. It, it's it's about the principle. It is about the principle. Oh. Okay. It is the the oh, principle. Right, right. The, the principle. Sending oh. Scar a message. A message. Resist. You write that, are you writing that down? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, I got that. If, I'm taking notes. If, if I, I any, have a very good memory. I'm going to refer to that later. If anyone questions why we're doing this, if, none, if any of this ever at any point makes no sense at all, you tell them it's a matter of principle and it's about sending Scar a message. Oh, right. It, okay. And we got to yeah. do this. Principle. Uh, pr it's, about principle. Okay. Okay. And it's about sending Scar a message, and, and that's Wait. what it's about. So, is that three exclamation marks or five? I'd say five, I'd definitely five. five. Okay. Definitely. Well, the I, more, the more they ask, the more exclamation marks. Yeah, because at mm -hmm. this okay. point, it is about the principle. It is about the principle. It really is. If anyone's ever Sorry. confused, it's about the principle. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's okay. let's all go and find. Let's go find a place for the new place that is nowhere near decked out. And there we have it, my dudes. The Mycelium Resistance has begun its resisting by sending a message to Scar. Because at this stage, it really is just about the principle of the matter. I mean, let's be honest. Although, I'm still not 100% exactly sure what that message is, or what we are in fact resisting, but it's about the principle of the matter at this stage, okay? Anyway, next step for the resistance is to build a brand new super secret base in a location we're not going to be sharing with anybody, including you guys at this stage, which means there's nothing left for us to do in this episode other than... Wait for another decked out key in the AFK throne for decked out noobs like myself. 
And so I guess that's going to do it for us today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the super long episode. And if you have, smack me in the face with the like, please, my friends. I really do appreciate it. And listen, if you haven't subscribed yet, well, subscribe for the mycelium resistance. Because, I mean, at this stage, it really is just about the principle of the matter. I mean, we got to send Scar a message. And, you know, it really is about the principle uh, at this stage. It's, um, it's about the principle. Um or something. We'll smell you all in the next episode, my dudes. And yeah, I mean, at this stage, it really is just about the principle. I mean, we, we need to send a message to Scar in one way or another.